knock on the door, wash my hands. Hi, Jamie. My name is Kaylee. I'm the nurse practitioner today. Hello. Um, can I get your name and date of birth, Jamie? Jamie Seedorf, 115-1991. And Jamie, what brings you in today? Oh, for the last week or so, when I stand up, I get fairly dizzy for a minute or two. It takes me a while, and then, then I'm fine after that. Can you explain a little more about your dizzy symptoms? Like, what is the room spin? Just kind of a little bit of a room spin, kind of just slight dizzy. Okay. I don't know how else to explain it. Okay. And have you noticed if you were doing anything in particular before these happen? Nope. Just when I stand up. Okay. And how long do you think these episodes last? Just a minute. Just a minute? Okay. Does anything make them better? No. Just no. happens about four or five times a day. Okay. Um, and I see you don't have any drug allergies and you have environmental or for environmental allergies, just wheat dust. Is that correct? Yep. Okay. Any recent use of antibiotics? Nope. Okay. Anyone in the home sick at all? Nope. Okay. And who do you live with, Jamie? My wife and two kids. Um, and I see on your chart, you don't have a surgical history. Do you have any significant family history with like cardiac or blood pressure problems? Uh, I've got an uncle who had a heart attack and a grandpa with a pacemaker. Okay. When did your um, uncle have a heart attack? Oh, 15 years ago, maybe. Okay. Any recent hospitalizations? Nope. Um, are you taking any medications right now to help with like dizziness or anything like that? No. Okay. They're just short little spurts. So I don't okay. take anything for them. No other medications for anything currently. Okay. Right. Do you feel like your heart is racing at all? No, not really. Okay. Just get slightly dizzy. Okay. Okay. Any ringing of the ears or hearing changes? Nope. Any vision changes at all? Just a little bit of blurriness with being dizzy. Okay. And does that go away? Yeah, oh. just as quick as okay. the dizziness does. Do you have blurriness normally? No. No, okay. Okay. Um, any, do you smoke? No smoke. Okay. How about alcohol use? Uh, occasional beer. Um, and what does your water intake look like? Uh, I drink about a pot of coffee a day and then one to two cups of water beyond that. Okay. One to two cups a day? Of water, yeah. Okay. Any energy drink nope. use? No okay. energy drinks. Okay. Do you have any like chest pain, shortness of breath? Nope. So Jamie, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna listen to you and then listen to your lungs. I'm gonna check your ears. Sometimes if you have like fluid in your ear, it can cause like the dizziness upon standing, like makes you like a little bit disorientated. Okay. Um, and then I'm gonna do something called orthostatic blood pressure. So I'm gonna take your blood pressure while you're sitting. Okay. And then I'm gonna have you stand up and after two minutes, I'm gonna take it again and see what happens, okay? And then okay. I'll kind of explain everything after. Do you have any questions on that at all? Nope. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and listen to you.
I'm gonna kind of sneak this underneath your shirt a little bit. Just gonna list it up the the PM the fifth intercostal space of the PMI. Just listen your heart rate a little bit more. Good. Okay. Are you okay if I lift your shirt up in the back? Yep. Okay. Can you take a deep breath for me? Good. Can you give it a deep breath? Good. Okay, so your heart sounds great. Um, lungs sound good. I, what I'm gonna do next is just check your ears here. Okay, ears look great, pearly gray. I see the cone of light. There's no fluid noted in there. I'm gonna check the other side. Good, so there's no fluid in those ears either. Jamie, have you noticed any like swelling in your hands or feet at all? Not really. No, not okay. that I've noticed. Can I see your ankles too, just real quick? No swelling in both ankles, noted. Pedal pulses are two plus. Just gonna feel. Brachials two plus. Brachials two plus. We're gonna feel this side. Two plus. Two plus as well. Okay, Jamie. Next, I'm gonna take your blood pressure. So this is your arm, and it's gonna kind of give your arm a squeeze. Have you had blood pressure done before? Oh, yeah. oh, okay. I don't know anyone who has it. Sometimes people just don't go to the doctor. Uh, sure. <laughs> okay. We're listening. And then we're, I'll have you stand up after this one, okay? Okay. Now I'm gonna have you stand up, and then if you get dizzy, just let me know, um, or you can put your hands on the table, okay? Okay. okay. So the purpose of standing up um, and taking your blood pressure is just to see you. you just know? a little dizzy. Okay, do you want me to move that chair? No, we're good. Okay. There, it's going away already. Going away? Okay, yep. any like vision changes when that happens at all? Uh, just that little bit of blurriness, but it, okay. it's already gone. Okay. So the purpose of taking the blood pressure where you're standing is that when the, it's something that happens called an orthostatic hypotension or hypotension mm -hmm. is where your blood pressure drops okay. when you stand up and that can result in dizziness. Okay. So I'm going to take your blood pressure now. So it's for the purposes of this video, it's been two minutes. Um, and so I'm going to see if your blood pressure has dropped. Okay. Okay. off of you so your blood pressure when you were sitting was 130 over 90 um and then when you stood up it was 105 over 60. um so your blood pressure did drop quite a bit um so that might result in you having blurriness and dizziness when well, standing um the other thing that's concerning is that you are only drinking one to two cups of water a day um so i'm kind of concerned that you might be dehydrated. Okay. So what I want to check is a chem panel. So for your potassium levels, if those are low, that can show you're dehydrated. 
um, sodium and a chloride and a glucose level as well. And then I would like to send you for a urine, um, urine test, like a urine sample, just okay. to see um, if you are dehydrated um, with your urine. It will check a couple things with that. Um, uh, once those results are back, I will give you a call with the results. Okay. What I want you to do in the next two weeks is try to increase your water intake to at least six to seven glasses of water a day. Does that seem like a manageable yep. goal to start with? Okay. So we'll start with six to seven glasses a day. And then I want you to come back and see me in two weeks um, to recheck that or that those blood pressures okay. to see if those have resolved. A lot of times when you're dehydrated and you're increasing your fluid intake, um, your dizziness should go away. Okay. Now, if you are, if your labs are super off and you're super dehydrated, I might send you over to the ER to get a bag of IV fluids to rehydrate you a little bit quicker okay. for you. Okay. Um, do you feel safe driving? Yep. Okay. Sounds good. I drove here. Well, I know sometimes like when we recheck these blood pressures, when you stand up, you might be have some lingering dizziness, but if you are good to drive, that is okay. Okay. All right. Do you have any other questions or concerns at all? Nope. All right. It was nice to meet you, Jamie. Nice meeting you. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you.